Hi, this is Professor Cummings. I wanted to come back with another video for you today. And in this one, I wanted to have some tips for our engineering students. Now, the semester is starting, the start of the summer semester, and I thought it might be a good idea to put something together for students to be able to be successful in their, their engineering program. And, and this probably applies to a lot of other college uh, majors, but engineering is, is where I'm at, and so that's what I wanted to do the presentation around. So before I start this, I wanted to cover uh, something that I think that would be a little interest to you as far as the whole learning process, uh, something called Bloom's Taxonomy. Now, when I first started, when I first became a professor, I looked up this whole concept of Bloom's Taxonomy and what it is, it's a hierarchy of learning that people go through when they're picking up a new topic and then taking it into mastery. So the first stage is just knowledge. You know, the, that is where you actually just get the information and can repeat it. You're, you're essentially uh, memorizing it, observing it, and you know, not really engaging it yet, but just ha being able to recall information. The next stage is comprehension. So now you've gone beyond just recalling it, just beyond the monkey see, monkey do. Now you're actually understanding it, being able to summarize it and translate it and actually speak on it a little more intelligently. Then there's application. So now you actually can speak on it. You're going to the next step of being able to actually solve problems, being able to, you know, manipulate the information, apply it to an actual situation. Then there's analysis, and you're being able to identify it and analyze patterns, being able to organize your ideas around it, recognize different types of trends. So you, you're taking this information and beyond just applying it, but making it your own, understanding what it is you're seeing and why it's going on. And then there's synthesis. So this is where you're actually using concepts and you're making it into a newer one. You're actually developing the, the knowledge. You're actually taking that information on and not just applying it and looking at how it goes, works just in the real world, but you're actually trying to, you're actually at the point where you're actually creating tests, adjusting it and looking at it from, from different perspectives. And then finally, there's, there's evaluation. You know, this is where you're looking at, you know, different theories, you know, we different other people had uh, dealt with the knowledge, being able to compare their line of thought with your line of thought and decide which one is better or whether there are certain circumstances where one uh, train of thought works with another. Now, that's the whole blue section. That's going from from just the complete rookie to an actual, uh, should we say, master of, of, a, of a subject. The problem that I've seen, you know, for a lot of students is that a lot of times they're encouraged to stay in the knowledge and, and even the comprehension level you know so this is where students are just trying to get by just trying to get their their grade you know and what i wanted to do was actually help students get up into the applications analysis and, and if i could even up to the synthesis level so here is you know some tips that i would have for engineers or you know, engineering students so that they can actually put some use to, to this information. Well, I broke it up into four basic categories. One is time management. You want to be able to get yourself organized, you know, collaboration, and then last is engagement. You know, so these tips seem to fall within these four major categories. You know, students that have these four categories, you know, mastered tend to do the best that I've seen, you know, of all my students. And that breaks down into eight tips that I have for engineering students that I would like to, you know, if I had a chance to go back again and, and start again, or if I just wanted to help someone out, these are the eight tips that I would give them so that they can actually be successful in their engineering program. So the first one is actually time management. You know, time management, you know, is probably one of the most crucial aspects of engineering, one of the most fundamental. You know, if you don't have your time managed well, you will struggle the whole semester. So one of the way to get this under control, get your semester under control so that you're actually running your semester as opposed to the semester running you, is prepare for the semester. You know, get your semester actually prepared ahead of time. You know, when you get the syllabus, that first day of class, the professor hands you a syllabus, they go through uh, the expectations of the class, you know, how they grade, uh, how they test, 
you know how many quizzes you're going to have you know how your assignments are going to be graded all the expectations the professor has are laid out you know take that information to heart and actually start preparing for that semester ahead of time and i mean getting your books in order you know uh, planning out a schedule around that that entire semester knowing when your tests and quizzes are going to be if you know that you're going to have weekly assignments make sure you mark that on your schedule don't leave any room for error that that you can don't leave any chance for, for error so that you, you can end up having something either have a conflict in your schedule or just flat out forgetting something you know so if you got to put this in a book hang it on your wall get some way to prepare your time for that semester also create a study schedule you know your classes you know the days that your classes are going to meet you know that you know where they're going to meet and you know how long they're going to meet you also should know all the other aspects of your your week and other responsibilities so create a study schedule something where you can actually sit down and say i know on thursdays and saturdays i'm going to be studying fluid mechanics at five o'clock or you know or you know and at six o'clock i'm going to go into uh you know, manufacturing uh, you know and at seven o'clock i'm going to be studying another topic so set up a schedule so that you know that there's a specific time that you're in a specific day that you're actually going to go through each particular topic you know it sounds kind of rigid but at the same time you know it, it does help you so that you don't let something slip it's real easy to start procrastinating it's real easy to start blowing things off you know just set up the schedule so you at least have something in your head as to when you're supposed to supposed to be on that topic at a specific time and if you find out that a topic is more challenging or, or not as challenging as you thought it would you know adjust that schedule so that you're not just you know doing something for the sake of having a schedule the schedule is there so that you don't have a lot of unnecessary conflicts the third is start your assignments early you know you get your assignments from the professor and and typically you've got time at least what looks like a reasonable time to complete the assignment you know, and a lot of students might not be aware of this, but most professors can tell the difference between an assignment that was started the night before and an assignment that was prepared for and started, you know, two weeks early. You know, so usually there's a lot of little mistakes that a student makes when they're rushing. Uh, there's usually a lot of weird questions a student has. You know, I've had students call me up and say, I don't understand this assignment. What am I supposed to do? And this was an email that I got the night before an assignment was due. You know, so a lot of times, you know, you've got to start your assignments early, get all your questions out. You know, if there's anything that looks odd that wasn't explained thoroughly, you can find this out fairly quickly, you know, just by starting the assignment in a timely manner. Even if you don't start driving hard on the assignment right away, it still gets your mind right before you actually start going into the assignment if you start it early. You kind of mentally prepare yourself for what you're going to have to do. Now the next category again was just general organization again along with time management being able to know when you're going to do something and giving yourself enough time to do it just being generally organized is another thing that's going to be very important to be successful in an engineering program so first you want to stock up on supplies now that sounds kind of basic but you'd be surprised at how much time a person spends just running around at the last minute looking for things like graph paper making sure they've got pens, making sure they've got post-it notes, you know, are not even having their, their textbook bought until the, you know, later into the beginning of the semester, you know, getting all that stuff out of the way early, you know, taking care of all those things, getting stocked up on all your supplies so that you don't have to, you know, have any last minute runs to the, the bookstore or, or office supply store, you know, is just a good thing to do for yourself. It takes a lot of anxiety and frustration out of, out of your, your week or out of your semester the next thing you know take good notes uh, notes are there to help you you know you're I know a lot of people sit in class and they take their notes feverishly and then they may never look at them again you know even though that activity can be good as far as you know forcing you to deal with the information taking good notes that you can actually recall or use for your recall is something that it's going to be very essential to you throughout the semester now, there's going to be a lot of information that you're going to have that you're going to need to go back and track down and having good notes is a good way to uh, make sure you can do get this information you know correct and right the first time now what are good notes you know good notes 
are whatever is organic to you you know so some people you know have a lot of pictures in their notes some people you know put in a lot of little diagrams they have you know uh, just a lot of little abbreviations uh, in, you know, in a very sequential order you know so I can't tell you what good notes are overall because it varies from person to person but make sure and perfect your, your note taking style so that you can actually do well in, in that class you, you'll be glad you did now the next category is collaborate now this is collaboration in two areas that if I had to go back to my undergrad I wish I had done this collaborating with my professor more routinely and collaborating with my classmates you know both of these are, are real essential and really do help you take that knowledge that you're learning and put it outside of your own personal little world you know so that, and, and help you discuss it and get some more clarity so meeting with your professor you know the first first collaboration that's going to be important to you you want to develop a rapport with your professor you know not because you're trying to suck up to them but because you want to get a good relationship with your professor so that you're actually uh, engaging on the, the the text as well as any of the other information routinely you know, you've got office hours you know he's got office hours so you can utilize those office hours show up on a regular or a semi-regular basis if you have any questions anything that wasn't clear or anything on the subject itself you know it's a good idea to you know talk to the professor right off the bat and clear it up you know a lot of engineering work builds on itself so if you don't understand something in the the first or second week it'll probably come back to haunt you later on throughout the semester so it's good to go to the go to the professor routinely speak to him you know get information clear things up and go about your merry way you know of course you want to put in some work before you go to the professor don't just go in there and have him do the work for you but go up to him or her you know on a routine basis and just you know get a little more clarity on the information you know a lot of times one of the the biggest problems I see with a lot of students is the only time they ever try to engage their professor is when they have a problem uh, at the end of the semester you know they're sitting on uh, you know bordering on a B and a C or an A and a B then they go into the professor's office and they issue complaints they start you know having a big long list of things that they they wish had happened you know talk to your professor early you know get things cleared up you know, these are people who spend their entire lives devoted to teaching and knowledge they will be glad you showed up they'll be very very ha happy to deal with you the next collaboration is the, your actual classmates you know with your peers uh, one of the best things you can do is form a study group you know or even if you don't have a group a study partner somebody that you can talk to about what you're going through in your work your your assignments your study going reviewing old tests you know and try and get some more information again you're coming outside of that bubble that, that we tend to go into you know and one of the best things you can do with that study partner or with that study group is take it upon yourself to actually teach each other that knowledge what you taught learned in class you know it, that helps it solidify more inside of your own head and then also you're gonna help somebody else you know and I think I read somewhere that like 90% of the things that you teach someone you actually retain more you know, so it actually helps you out a lot to actually try and teach, explain, uh, review with each other this information. So, you know, again, remember to collaborate, engage your, your professor as well as, as your other uh, classmates. Now, the eighth one is engage. Now, a lot of times you hear that term engage. You think, okay, so raise, raise your hand in class and ask a lot of questions. That, that is only a part of engagement. You know, one of the things that makes a topic more real, you know, is being able to apply it. Again, if you remember uh, the the hierarchy, you know, Bloom's taxonomy, you know, it's about applying the knowledge, being able to make a topic more real by actually getting your hands dirty and engaging it. Now, one way you can do that, again, is just talking in class, raising your, your hand, asking a lot of questions. Another thing is joining different teams and groups. You know, a college campus has a lot of groups typically for our engineers to join. You know, whether it's a robotics club, a BUV team, a Baja team, or even taking on a project on your own. You know, something that actually gets you out of the textbooks and engaging 
something real and applying your engineering knowledge to it. All of these things can help you actually solidify and understand better what you've been learning in class. So even a small hobby would be helpful you know, to take on in order to help you engage something a little bit more, building models. Uh, but again, I would strongly suggest joining outside organizations, you know, and, and engaging them, you know, in an organized way, you know, one of the engineering clubs, you know, which will help you, you know, really engage the topic or various topics and understand them better. So again, you know, we had, you know, four general categories that I think that make up the engineering students experience. One is time management. Two is getting organized, collaborating with your, your professor and your peers and engaging. We had different, you know, eight different uh, tips that would help you actually become more successful. So planning out your semester, creating a study schedule, starting your, your assignments early, stocking up on supplies, make sure you take good notes, you know, meeting with your professor, you know, working with any of your peers, and then learning about the, the subject outside of class, taking the initiative to actually engage the topic elsewhere. Now, if this was helpful to you, I hope it was, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know, pass this along to some student that might need it. Uh, hopefully it will be useful to somebody beyond you. Uh, go ahead and hit a like. You, know, you can follow me on Facebook or even on Google Plus and also on Twitter. Uh, again, this is Professor Cummings. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.